This is NBN Network Media News for all races connecting you to the world. I will compensate you. And that is what happened in this case. It is important to do. People are saying, what a wonderful project. What a wonderful decision that we took. I'm sure every reverse man and woman, every person who has clear hearts, in reducing the current, in reducing the number of those who would ordinarily wouldn't have gone to law school at the time they finished, but will also improve the economy of the state. It will improve the economy. The students will come here, they will go out, they will buy things, they will eat outside, they will come back to school. And that day, somehow, the economy will be growing. In fact, we are coming, so many politicians were telling me they are now trying to build one bedroom flat, self contained, that children of big men would like to stay. I said, fine, they will pay money, they will hire the houses and pay rent. To the landlords, again, money is being put in your pocket. So people should not look at this as if it doesn't make sense. It does. Forget about being in the legal profession. There will be employment created here. There will be people who will be cleaners. There will be people who will be messengers. The chairman of legal education and the DG know they will have been cleaners outside. They won't go and bring messengers as a bigger level of employment that must come from the people of the state. And it is important. Creation of job is not only people think empowerment is just dashing you money. But we have provided something that will create employment by employing our people. And which is key. This place will change the entire landscape of this area. As I was coming with his chairman and the DG and other leaders, I told them, one fear I have now is that whether these children will pass law school if they come here. Because the kind of enjoyment, the kind of facilities, opportunities within this zone, you must be strong to face your studies and pass. I am telling you that because we have been so many of the law school campuses. What the facilities around this area is tempting. Tempting for those who like good things, for those who come from overseas. But I believe the DG will take care of that. But for us, we have done what we're supposed to do. It is left for the DG to know how to control the level of uh, enjoyment. That is not within the scope of the River State uh, government. Let me thank the Honorable Attorney General, Minister of Justice. Irrespective of our difference in politics, belonging to different political parties, I'm, not, I'm one of the major critics of his government, or their government. But yet, he still said, look, let's convey our appreciation on behalf of the government and people of the state. Panocytically approving the law school to be established in Port Harcourt. Because people ask, June 4th, June 24th, approval has come out. You, a critic of the government, that something must be fundamentally wrong. I said, no. That's not fundamentally wrong. The improvement of legal uh, education. And so it is very clear. We are not just asking because of political reason. So I want to thank the Honorable Attorney and personally well before us. Thank you on behalf. Yes, I thank the chairman on his own part, even though he presents the Honorable Attorney General today. I thank the DG for the role they have played. I was wondering, I hear that DG comes from Adamawa. And 
That's right. Is it because they had, I did my new service in Gongola, which has today been divided into Ademawa, to us. The support he has given to us, I can't believe it. He told us, when we came here with those CJ and Co, which I will go to the other time, he told us that, look, you are going to. In fact, the chairman said, start immediately. Then DG brought his civil servant and said, yes, we will approve, but don't go out yet. And within a week, we will approve her. I'm sure most people didn't never believe it, even if it will come. I want to sincerely thank you for that. And I want to thank the president of the Jamba Association. Was there that year? All of you supported it. I don't know how to appreciate you, but all I will say, God Almighty, will continue to bless you to make sure you serve very much. Let me also thank them for that flag up. And they contributed so much, I'm sure, talking to the chairman, talking to the DG. And when I came home, I tried to contact some other senior lawyers to say, look, this is my idea. Yes, some of your brothers sick who went with me have supported. What are your views? Instantly, they said, look, if you can achieve this, it will be good for legal education in this state. And people like Adeli Bey, Okala, all of them gave me that support. Said, the Lucius Wosu, who is, then you know that we have achieved something for the state. So I thank all of you for the role you played. I also talk to my political friends and leaders who we are all jubilant, we are all happy that look, this is the right thing to do. I thank all of you. Because, but for you, it may not be you. No one man can do it alone. You need the advice, you need the experiences of other people. And so I thank all the political leaders who have associated themselves to this particular project. God will bless each and every one of you for that support. Mr. Chairman, the representative of the and anybody who knew here would understand that this place was gone. The day we came here, there were a lot of scattered buildings, and we said, look, we cannot have these buildings except they pass the integrity test. Apart from those two buildings there that passed the integrity test, all other buildings failed. And I said, we must not patch. We must bring it down. Oh, so we can start from the beginning. I'm sure that is why the chairman, I mean the DJ, had announced up to eight months. Look at the topography of this place. It is not a water area. Some of you may be wondering, or maybe having in your mind, how can they say six, eight more they will finish with the deputy governor? So those of you who are aspiring to govern, don't count it that I've kept one project for you to commission. You will not commission this one. I'm the one to commission it. The special advice on special projects, I'll explain to you what kind of. In fact, when you brought it to me, if I tell you since last night I've been having a headache. The amount that the government will spend, you may have discouraged me not to. So I told him, you can't kill me now. I will survive. Whatever it is, you are getting money. All you know that let projects be carried out and be completed at the required uh, impact of it. We can't be opposite position to the to the quarter. You know, uh, the, you know, people don't understand that you can perform better when you are relaxed. When you are relaxed, sit down, cross your leg. Some of the, some of our children don't know what to call them. You got. Say okay. Come from here this way. Come from here until I tell you to stop. Here, in my capacity as the chairman of Council of Legal Education. So I present this address in the latter capacity. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you this afternoon on behalf of the Council of Legal Education to participate at the landmark event in the history of Nigerian law school. 
It is the occasion of the foundation laying ceremony for the Podakot campus of the Nigerian Law School. The journey to this momentous occasion began barely a month ago on June 4, 2021, when we gathered at Yenegoa, the capital of Bayesda State, for the flag off of a number of projects being sponsored by the River State Government at the Nigerian Law School, Yenegoa Campus. At that occasion, the SLSC threw an open challenge to the Council of Legal Education to the fact that in response to the constraints in the Nigerian Law School concerning the admission of, of law students, that the River State Government uh, will offer to build, equip, and deliver a state-of-the-art campus of Nigerian Law School. And that in doing so, neither the federal government of Nigeria nor Council of Legal Education will spend a dime in the execution of that project. Remarkably, this Viva Voce offer was swiftly followed with a detailed written offer by the state government. On receipt of this offer, I immediately convened a meeting of Council of Legal Education and tabled the offer before the plenary of the council. And at the meeting, the offer was unanimously accepted. We went a step further to also seek the concurrence of the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation, who is the supervising minister of our council, and also the Honorable Attorney General concurred immediately. So the River State Government and Council of Education, Council of Legal Education, thereafter entered into a memorandum of understanding in which the government of River State inter alia offered to construct or provide the following facilities for the Portacourt campus. One fully furnished male and female hostel to accommodate at least 1,500 students. An auditorium with a seating capacity for about 2,000 persons. A multi-purpose hall with the same capacity. Tutorial rooms. Law clinic and moot court. Library and reading rooms with ICT facilities. Sporting facility for staff and students. Storage facilities for stand, staff and students' records, staff quarters, operational vehicles, and then to top it all, a monthly subvention in the sum of 10 million naira with a guaranteed payment for a period of four years. Hand over the CFO for the two properties they, they promised them. As it relates to this property and the one of the Federation Hotel. On this note, I send the two CFOs, the two Sago of Occupancy, to the Council of Legal Education through the Honorable Minister and after there are every presented by the Chairman of the Council. All work to the DG. Thank you very much, Professor.
So I conclude my speech by saying, long live the Council of Legal Education, long live the great people of River State, long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much. On that note, may I invite His Excellency and other special guests for the former flag of or the foundation laying ceremony of Nigerian Law School, Dr. Nabo Graham Douglas, SAN Campus, Portacot River State, to the glory of God. time for the event proper and uh, they're moving towards uh, the ground breaking or the flag off as it's called uh, session and you can see the chairman of the legal education here moving with the governor and its entourage to the very point and as you can also hear well, you heard what uh, the chairman did say there that the Approval has been given for the naming of this campus in honor of uh, neighbor, Dr. Neighbor Bekimbo Graham Douglas. And so this campus from now will be known and called by that name. It is a very great moment for the legal profession in Nigeria and uh, those in the, uh, in the South South and River State particularly a great day, I must say, for students of that profession as well that are coming up. So they now have a campus, a state-of-the-art campus, as it's been referred to something they can really have for themselves and be proud of, as that profession is also referred to as a profession for learned people. And that's why the River State Government have deemed it fit to give it that status. And so they are preparing the chairman for that very important, putting on him all the safety gears for the laying of the foundation, as it were. Well, we understand that there's been some problems with accommodation and indeed place, uh, placement of uh, people who have graduated from schools uh, where to attend uh, their furtherance of the legal profession by way of the uh, training them to become real lawyers, as it were. Before now, historically speaking, such lawyers are trained in the UK. But now, uh, after all that period from 1962, the training started in Nigeria with the first law school built in Lagos in 1962. And so, there come a time too when they said that uh, Indeed, the schools will be decentralized, and River State, Port Harcourt, has had its share by the very ingenuity of the River State Governor, Isewon Wike, himself a lawyer. Well, the foundation has been laid now, and uh, washing of hands, as usual, for workmen after they have finished their work. Uh, the chairman of the legal education in Nigeria is wash his hands and uh, towel his hand. Any moment from now, the national anthem will take place. And then, of course, that will signify uh, the closing of this event. <laughs>
from Port Harcourt about this very important uh, event. Which is... This is NBN Network Media, news for all races, connecting you to the world.